So uh, when you're seam sealing these, all the, the seams are important, but believe it or not, the horizontal seams or the peak seam isn't as uh, important as the vertical seam. So in the case of the sawtooth, this seam here is the one that'll leak more or with the eight mans, all of the vertical seams. So you wanna make sure all of them are important, but you definitely don't wanna leave anything out on the vertical seams. You can seam seal them on the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter. All right, so we have the eight-man TP set up. The next step in your initial setup is seam sealing. As Aaron mentioned in a prior video, the TPs, especially with all of their vertical seams, those are very important to get seam sealed. So the TPs and the other shelters, they come with seam sealer from Grip Aid. It's called, sorry, Gear Aid. It's called Seam Grip. Um, it's already pre-mixed. Basically, you put it over the seams and rub it in. Depending on how OCD you are, you can dump this stuff out into like a Dixie cup and get a little paintbrush and paint it over the seams. We, uh, we're a little lazy, so we're just gonna basically put it over the seam straight out of the tube and then rub it in with our fingers. So at the very least, you'll want something to open the tube. So we'll just use a spare stake that we have here. And then you'll want a few paper towels because it can get a little messy on your hands. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so when I'm talking about the seams on the shelters, all of these sewing points where the fabric comes together are the seams. So, especially on the teepees like stated previously, there are very many different seams and they're all basically vertical. So, Aaron mentioned it on his video, I'll mention it again. You can seam seal from the inside or from the outside. For these taller shelters like this, we'll basically seam seal as far as we can reach and then we'll go on the inside and seam seal from there up and maybe have about like an inch overlap. Okay, as you can see, I kind of dabbed it roughly along the seam here, and basically I'm just gonna use my finger and rub it in here. So a good trick to doing this so you're not like leaning over the side of the shelter is use the, the door opening of the shelter, get in here as far as you can so you can reach, you can get a few seams from this location. So I'll do that now. All right, we're inside the teepee and we're gonna do the seam sealing portion of the inside. So as I mentioned previously, you can only reach so far depending on how tall you are from the doors and just from the outside leaning over. So from the inside, depending on how tall you are, you can usually just reach up and get the rest of the, of the uh, seam. Now, if you, if you um, want to, you can get a ladder in here and you can get way up there if you're, if you're not quite tall enough. But basically what we're gonna do is seam seal down to the portion that I could reach to and then go about an inch further just to have that overlap. Um, so this portion might work out a little bit better for the guys that have OCD and pour this into a cup and have a brush Because if you try to put it straight onto the seam, it'll kind of drip So usually we'll just put a dab on the fingertip and then just reach up and run it down the seam All right, so we just got done shooting for a couple of hours It's really hot out here in Colorado nice and dry not humid and the seam sealer is fully dried. You can kind of put your finger on it. If it doesn't stick, pretty much dried up. Uh, depending on where you're at, if it's a humid environment, you might want to let it dry for a few more hours, but we're good to go.